<laughs> oh my god, we're so dead. Diablos. Yeah. Yeah. Boom, there you go. That was a trailer for Bring It On, Cheer or Die, coming to Sci-Fi on October 8th. I'm Kuya P. This is Nerds Rule the World. And as you see on the screen, I have some special guests. So delighted. The director, Karen Lamb, and the star, Carrie Metters. Thank you both for your time today. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> definitely, definitely. So let's get into it. Uh, I'm so excited. This is starting off my Halloween season right for 2022. Um, I love that this concept has been put together. Bring it on as a slasher. Um, Karen, can I start with you? When this came your way, I know you got a bit of a history of some horror films. I was checking out the IMDb. Uh, what did you think? Bring it on as a slasher? What? <laughs> what did you think about well, that? Well, first off, it was like, bring it on. What is that? Because I am seriously in, in horror land. So that was my first thing, which was watch the first at least watch the first movie to figure out what it was and then i was like oh my god this film is so good and then i was like did they get the wrong person but then yeah i i was so excited to actually be part of it because it was that that mix between like you know iconic series and a slasher and so yeah i was i was uh just beyond beyond honor to be asked i love that okay so to lead us into our star carrie metters you 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 got the script you were gonna turn this into a project Talk to me about casting and finding Carrie. Okay, so interesting enough, I ended up receiving all my emails like, oh, they, um, they're they shooting a film in Canada and they want you to audition for Abby. And they were like, it's bring it on, but it's a Halloween. And I was like, immediately I was like, an iconic film and Halloween because I love horror. And I was like, I'm interested. All right, so I ended up auditioning. And I was like, okay, here we go. Let's have fun. Um, and then I think about a, a month and a half later of not hearing anything, my agents were like at 10 a.m. They called me and they were like, hey. And I was like, hi. And they were like, well, you booked, bring it on. Um, and I was like, oh my gosh. And then I fell to my knees and I had a whole moment. And I was like, I could not believe that I was given the opportunity. And here I am. <laughs> I love it. Let's go. Okay. Right? So this film is kind of an old, this is the seventh film, I believe, in the franchise now. Um, what, what is it like for you, uh, young star? Did you like do this? The, once you booked it, like, okay, I got to do my homework. I got to start cheering. I need to learn what to do. Um, what kind of procedure was that for like for you to get into this character that you're going to portray? Well, interesting enough, um, I had to leave two days after finding out that I booked it to go start at cheer camp for three weeks. Um, <laughs> so I was like, oh, I have to be a cheerleader and I don't cheer. So I was like, Tony Gonzalez, who created all of like the choreography and everything. He, I, I went up to him and I was like, I'm going to try my best. I, I don't do exercise, but I'll try so hard for this. And he was like, three weeks, I got you. And I was like, okay. And we went to rehearsals from seven to like five every day, weekends off. Um, and we learned all of these things and put like all of, all of the work we could to create all of this. And at the same time, it gave me three weeks to really develop Abby and feel the direction I was going to do while at cheer camp, because we got to be with everyone. And I was like, oh, I get to create a relationship with you for three weeks. And, oh, I can see, I can see how our relationship could work in this film. And it, it was like a huge practice ground of being able to develop. Abby and all these cheers in three I weeks. Love it. I love that energy. Way to go, Carrie. Thank all you. right, Karen, <laughs> you come from this horror background. You're making this cheerleading film. They chose you for a reason. So <laughs> yeah. as, as a filmmaker myself, we're figuring out shots in our head and how we want to frame the scene and everything. What was it like for you to like, were, were you like looking at like other projects or like, were you looking at those previous Bring It On films once you found out about it? Tell me what that process was like for you and then getting this amazing cast. Oh yeah. The first off, the just coming up with what it looked like. Um, I promised the studio essentially that where we started and where we ended would be bring it on. So <laughs> we would we would start with bring it on. We'd go somewhere into my dark ethos, 
And then basically at the end of it, I would give them back their bring it on. <laughs> so that was the, the, the journey that was there. The nice thing um, about basically being a horror director is, and why I pick horror out, out of all the things is that it lets me be a little bit experimental. I can play with shots, you know, I can play with angles. It's about creating the mood. So it's very location dependent. It's very much like what, what we need to see and when we need to see it. So that part was, um, I kind of do that when I'm polishing a script, I'm already coming up with my shot list and my basically what, you know, it's like an internal storyboard that's happening. So there's lots of references to other films, like, you know, and it's the weirdest sort of films. It'll be like, there's one scene and I, this is my Easter egg. Like there's my Mrs. Robinson scene. Like if you if you can catch my graduate scene, I know it's a weird reference, but it's- I it's dig in that, there. I love that. <laughs> so it's like little things like that. I'll, I'll, I'll basically find that out as, as, as we go along. And then you asked a second question, which I now like it exited my head. So. Oh, this amazing cast, finding this cheer oh. squad and Carrie oh my uh, to come was, to the table uh, with this. It's essentially like, we're so lucky to get Carrie. Um, you know, we had Missy Pyle as well. And we had um, Tiara, like basically, you know, like we, we got kind of the, that was basically a lot of studio work. But as far as all of the rest of the cast, it was all by audition. So three of the actors, including I think Matteo and uh, Sydney and uh, Jackie had never been in films before. So it was so nice to actually be able to find them. So that was all through auditions. And it was weird because we're doing it during the pandemic. So they, none of, all of them were taped and all of it was basically by Zoom. So I did not see any of you until cheer camp, essentially. It was like, I, I got to see you all, but I didn't get to see you until until that moment, so. And then they had to come and bring it on, right? And cheer or die. <laughs> <laughs> so so what do you hope for the fans uh, to close us out? You know, we're coming, we're in Halloween season. I, I'm delighted again for this to arrive and share this with my cheer family and my daughter, who's now all about horror films. So this is a perfect merger of the two. I love this. Uh, what do you want to say to the fans when they come see this October 7th on Sci-Fi? Uh, Carrie, back to you. What do you want to tell everybody that's watching this? Um, I think it's a fun slasher film. I love how it's the cheer element, but also all of the horror that's done is very cheer incorporated. And I think that's such a refreshing take on it. And I just think personally, I think it's iconic. Um, so yeah, I hope fans, they dig it. I love it. And for you, Karen. I hope this is the gateway drug to your horror, like future is. <laughs> <laughs> but there's more so anyway yeah I, I i hope to basically inspire young women and young men to basically who may not have thought of horror to actually give it a try i can't wait to talk about this everybody when it arrives uh, it'll arrive on october 8th on sci-fi i'm gonna talk about it on the nrw i'm gonna talk about it on wtop fm radio here in the dc area everybody needs to know that Bring It On, Cheer or Die is arriving to Sci-Fi on October 8th. Thank you, Karen Lamb. Thank you, Carrie Metters. This was truly a pleasure. Aww. Thank you. Thanks for your energy. Definitely. No. Oh, awesome. <laughs> <laughs>